Welcome to Medscape Morning Report. While it is known that hyperthyroidism is associated with a higher risk of atrial fibrillation, could the risk also be increased for those within normal ranges for thyroid hormones? A study presented at the American Heart Association annual meeting suggests that the answer is yes. The investigators conducted a retrospective analysis of data from almost 175,000 patients at the Intermountain Health System who had records on free T4 levels, but they were not on thyroid replacement therapy at study entry. The mean age of this group was 63 years and about 65% were women. A sizable majority, 88%, had T4 levels in the normal range. This large group were further stratified from low normal to high normal levels. After adjustment, the relative risk of prevalent AFib in the highest normal free T4 quartile group was double that of the lowest group. No similar associations were seen between the quartiles for free T3 and TSH results were mixed. The findings could have particularly important implications in terms of treating even so-called subclinical hypothyroidism and the inclination to push levels into high normal ranges. This is retrospective observational data that carries the caveat that the free T4 levels considered high normal in this study would be considered overtly high in some practices. Currently, TSH is generally used to adjust thyroid hormone treatment but if these data are confirmed, it might mean that T4 levels should be routinely measured too. For now, it should make us cautious about treating mild subclinical hypothyroidism, particularly among older adults at higher risk for atrial fibrillation.